stakeholders, we're able to get their input, we're able to get if this is something that they want, uh, you know, serving their community or being part of their community. So my suggestion is that we send the NPGs and the other part to the committee, to the prospective committee, let the, the committees make do their due diligence, their research on the organization, and make the recommendation to budget and finance. So are you then saying get the, board. the application process be the same, but when they get it, they could kind of filter it out according to whoever's Correct. applying, if it's something that has to do with public safety, she'll send it to the public safety committee to have put on their agenda and let the community come in and make, make recommendations. Because each but committee, but chair, no, each committee be, isn't going to know. Because the way it is, then that, that's where we would like board involvement to come to our budget and finance you know, every third Monday of the month, which are set already here so you know ahead of time. You could come and help us and get involved with the stakeholder. Like if you want to be more involved with the stakeholder who's putting in their application, you could come on these Mondays when they either apply or when they come drop it off, or you can even help us on that day yeah, to kind of get more of the feel for the stakeholder who's requesting for the grant. You can look at it, you can go through it, you can call them, you can contact them. You can get a more it's feel not for the them. same feel that you're going to get from a because, committee because, level. Because either, it's either like well, I'm not done, Angela. Because for Angela, your committee. Angela, I'm not done yet. Mm -hmm. Because either way, if if they're going to the committee, then then how do we know, how do we know the committee? is going to filter them or go through them or say these go and these don't. Is the that budget what the, the budget and I, I'm not done yet. The budget and finance is is guaranteeing that everyone who puts in the MPG will be seen. We are not a panel who's gonna filter them or prioritize them, who goes first or who goes or, or, or we're gonna tell you no, go less on their number. That is going to be up to us on November fifth and November twelfth. This is the process that we felt it was the best thing to do. We did think about that idea that you said. Mr. Chavez was there himself where he said, you know, would it be possible? That was taken into consideration, but that's why I emailed everyone. So that recommendation that you're giving could have been given back in July 22nd when we met, so we don't have to go through this right now. So you could give us a bigger input, more feel for what you're telling us, detail, so we could really take it more into, into consideration. But because it was only the ones that were there that were interested in doing this process, this is what we came up with. And I we can't felt this is the best thing. a meeting thing. that's held at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock. And I think the committee would have more control because it's we at know 6 PM. our, I, you know, the schedule that you have, no, I can't, at 6 PM. now I'm putting my committee then secondary because I have to take this. So I would think that no, each it's at committee, 6 PM, not at 2 o'clock. I can't make it to another meeting. I already have my own uh, land use meetings and sometimes I have to make special meetings because we have development. So, you know, taking in consideration that we already, we're responsible for our committee. To the community, we're supposed to do our due diligence for our committee. I can't attend, and I would love to, and I, I, I will try to, but I think that needs to go back to the but committee level. But you see, level. that's not fair, I'm gonna ask you that we can't table attend this the item. other meetings, but you want the stakeholders to attend other many, many meetings, go to this committee and ask yes. me, now go to the budget and finance and ask them, now go to the general board and ask them. Yes. You don't want to commit to extra meetings, but you want the stakeholders to do it, that's not fair. Okay, no, let me let fair. me ask a question, that's please. That's not fair. Okay, let me, let me ask a question, because this is a new process you're introducing, so there there is always going to be some pushback. But Angela, my question to you is, on the committees in the prior years when people came to you, the committee meetings and requested funds for grants, did you guys filter and deny at that level or everything went um, forward? Yes, yeah, so we would make our recommendation, and Cynthia can, can probably clarify this more, we would make our recommendation at the committee level, the committee would vote whether to um, support the project, and then that recommendation, if it passed, would go to the executive, to the budget and finance committee meeting. and then the. The person does not have to be at that committee level because now it's the committee presenting what they felt and obviously putting it out for the stakeholders to share their uh, input on it as well. But it's presented to the Budget and Finance Committee and then that's when the No, board they're not going to present to us. They're just going to give us the application. I know. They're not going to, we're not going to listen to them. They're just giving us the application. They're not filtering They're going to present for the, yes, non-filtered. Non they're going to present for the very first time on November 5th, which is what we're recommending. We're not gonna interview them at all. All we're doing is making sure paperwork is filled out completely and Correct. that's it. That's it, we're not going to interview them. Okay, I have to ask to please allow Sasha to speak because she hasn't spoken yet. Um, Angela, you had just said before that you didn't want like the committee to be playing favorites, but I worry that if we leave it up to, let's say, like the education committee to go ahead and make a decision like that, 
then they would easily be able to play favorites if they did that. I mean, if we're all here as a board, then everyone can be involved with the process of selecting you know, who should and shouldn't be there. I think that what Michelle's doing, um, creating kind of like the Budget and Finance Committee as a role that's making sure that paperwork's filled out correctly mm -hmm. and logistics are taken care of um, is great because then it allows us as a board to decide together instead of allowing um, individual committees to play favorites and you know those that you know are going to be more louder about supporting one nonprofit versus another nonprofit then that one would end up getting the funding yeah no I agree and I think instead of the, then the committee should filter it and get the information and not take a position on everyone so if anyone comes to the public safety committee it should be the committee filtering the information and then at least still providing, there has to be input or somebody to take an input at the board level, or are we just gonna continue to table the items when they come? So we're just doing one meeting. How, who's gonna do the research on the organizations, what they do, what they represent, how are they gonna serve our community? I ask that we table this item and research it a little bit more before we take a position on this. The, the people that are gonna do the research on the schools and the nonprofit would be they give us the information. Wow. It's very simple. You were in the budget and finance, Angela. They give you the the, certi the business tax certificate, the W-9, uh -huh. the application, and a statement, and the letterhead if it's a school or the or the 5013. What is there to research? It's there. The, the W-9 could not be any more than the number and a signature. It's it, That is given to, to the funding department with the proper documents, mm -hmm. and they take it and they research it so I was not instructed it doesn't say on my treasure handbook that I'm supposed to call the Secretary of State and say hey is this really a LAUSD school or is this a 5013 that is not my job description it is to I'm not asking you to call the Secretary no, but, of State but, I don't understand no, the sarcasm no, I'm honestly is, we're trying to work together on this process let me finish let me finish okay you guys we do, finish. Finish. Okay, you guys, we do, do we do I'm going to put background. the motion to table this item we need to discuss it more I think there's still instead of having sarcasm added to it we're trying to work together my things are very simple questions that just needed and an answer. I just wanted to understand the process because it still is unclear to me. So to attack me or to come in, it's really unnecessary. Right. Um, so I we, think at we this point, this to I'm going to ask second, to motion and I to table the item. Since July 22nd, I did you get any feedback email. when you asked? I got no feedback from no one since July 22nd. I said, please look into this if you have any feedback or come to the budget and finance and give your input. There's a motion on the floor to table the item. If it's not second, yeah. It's not seconded. Nobody says a second, that motion dies. No, no, and it's I don't I think we waste more time going back and forth with each other. I think the clarity is to it's, work it's together. It's not fair again. because if we're gonna table this, Michelle, the community cannot don't. get but their let, her, let her finish and then yeah, that's um, just not fair because the community has to wait now. I don't think the community has to wait. I think there's yes, other they do. The community okay. has to wait because uh, you're trying to motion this. I think we do need to recognize that a lot of work has been put into this. There may be some things that can be adjusted so that committees are um, given some sort of say. But I mean, I, I'd ask that you guys just respect each other's opinions and the work that, that each other has have both done. And we haven't adjourned yet. I'm sorry. I'm ready to go. <laughs> We're going to adjourn right now. Um, Go ahead, Sasha. I was just, um, so to my understanding, um, Lisette, so I mean, because she just brought up, you know, the W-9 and all of, I know nonprofits is a 501c3, your status, you have codes that go along with that. Dunn does that research, you know, for, to, to go ahead. This is really an internal process. Okay. The requirements that Michelle's talking about are those that are required by the city. Mm -hmm. If that, that is on your end, Uh, I don't, I'm not talking about whether or not but to approve it. Research, we don't require anything more than what the NPG requires, if that's what you're asking. Okay, um, no, I'm more, because it, uh, the concern that Capricia just brought up, right? Um, it was actually Capricia that had said it, you know, checking with the Secretary of State to make sure that something's a nonprofit. Oh, you no, know. no, it, the NPG requires that. They require yeah. That. Exactly. So then, I mean, there's some research that is then Being done, done on behalf of on behalf of done. Then so the applicant turns that in. Right. Yeah. The applicant. It's the applicant's submit. responsibility yeah. to submit that. That's the proof. I, I, I think what is what the question or what the concerns are is internally how do you all filter that information.
information mm -hmm. and how can committees be part of um, giving the board additional either recommendation or not. And that's that's when you that's that's what the board needs to decide. Mm -hmm. And just to tail, tail off of all this, I mean, in all fairness, things are set ahead of time, and it doesn't seem like people do read and review them or, or put, put in your comments and concerns at the time. I hope that from here on out, I mean, we can avoid this type of um, discussion if people should get their input in. I mean, it, it should be a, a collective um, process. Are we, what do we, we have a motion on the table. Mm -hmm. And the motion was to table this item? Yes. And we had a second by Cynthia. Cynthia. So now we have to vote. So we're going to go to vote to table item, uh, t um, item. item 8, implementing the MPG process for requesting funds proposed by the Budget and Finance Committee. Yeah, we got to vote. We have one minute. Can we vote? Yep. So all those in favor uh, to uh, table um, item uh, eight. 8. Uh, raise your hand. Raise your hand. All those in favor, raise your hand. Tabling item eight. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to be tabled regardless since the meeting's ending. If it adjourns, but. We haven't adjourned yet, so let's just. All those against? Abstentions? All right, motion passes. 621. So or 261, I'm sorry. No, it didn't pass. No, it didn't. Or it didn't pass, I'm sorry, it didn't pass. So what was it, count? I'm going to excuse myself. And we are, I mean, it is 9.30, so technically the uh, item is going to be tabled anyway. Well, we can, t we can uh, vote to extend our time to, to vote on this since yeah. we only need can we, board members. Can we stay past 9.30? Don't they close? No, we still have eight. Well, at least, at least to vote for this and for the eight. flyer. I mean, we can't do no outreach again, so. Oh, we have quorum. We still have quorum. Okay, so then motion to Chavez. motion to vote on the MPG process. I second. We don't need a motion for that. We need a motion to extend the time. Yeah. Let's extend the time. Motion to extend the time. Second. All in favor? By how long? Hold on, hold on. Aye. Who motioned it? Michelle. Michelle. Gamma second. All right, so all those in favor extending time? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it six? Yeah. Six. So all I those vote. against, raise your hand. One. <laughs> Abstain? We'll one. Okay. Motion passes. So what was the count? Six, one, one. Thank you. So I motion that. Uh, we don't general? need a motion. We don't need a motion. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How could it be six, one, one? That's only eight. We have nine. She left. Numbers. She left. She left. So we had 10 in total. We had One, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Marlene nine, ten. Doesn't vote. Marlene doesn't vote. I don't vote. Oh, that's right. I apologize. Okay. Okay, so can we motion to vote? Need it. On the MPG process? We have, well, we're back on item eight. And I'm sorry, did we clarify item eight? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we'll Make see when idea. we get to that. Okay. <laughs> um, so five minutes okay with everyone if they speak five minutes? Okay. I, I, I think it should be seven. Seven, seven minutes? I've been on, on those meetings before and, and uh, They could go up to seven? Okay. Yes, it's not really a lot of time to prepare. Five to seven. Move forward. Okay. Not out of time. So you want to change the... We have... Five to seven. Okay, okay. It's a draft, so we don't have to vote on it. We're discussing it, so. Right, I, I'm, I'm wondering too if, um, in this timeline, is there is there time to get, I mean, all the grants, not not filter any, but get, get the ones that are applicable to, because they're not all gonna be applicable to a committee. Get it to them to not filter, but at least to when the person comes and, and makes their presentation that the committee has a recommendation or how they feel about it. I know that wants to get a grant for November. We have a very big Dia de los Muertos on Huntington Drive. Okay, yeah. I will not be voting on that because I'm also part of that organization. I help them. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking that if this information is brought to her now, she should be able to get, if she has, you know, heard and she has uh, voted in to get the money, will that money be 